If you guys are here watching the second part of the tutorial, this is part two, as said in the title. So go ahead and check out part one if you want to see the structural part of the build and everything like that. But today, we'll be primarily focused on doing the interior and exterior decorations. If you guys do like this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and tell your friends about me too, because you guys tell them about me, the channel grows, and we get more faithful followers just like you guys. And thank you guys for all the support that you give me as always. But with that said, the way we're going to be doing this tutorial is I won't actually display my list of main materials like I usually do. Instead, we'll do each and every single room according to the materials that they have because there is a lot of decorational materials and random miscellaneous stuff that goes into this build. With that said though, I don't know if there's much else to say about this build. It uh, turned out pretty great. The interior, I'm really, really happy with it. So we're going to go ahead and start actually decorating some of this stuff and getting this build completely 100% finished. Let's jump into the first part of this tutorial. Okay, so one last thing before we actually start. If you guys do like this, uh, me building each room and doing each room individually with the materials and the decoration bits and stuff like that, go ahead and comment down below and I might start doing my videos like this. I'm not sure, but I might. So let's go ahead and just get some materials though. The materials for this first part, which is gonna be decorating the outside of the house, is gonna be about a couple stacks of spruce leaves. I don't know exactly how many, but we will want exactly 20 spruce trap doors, 12 grass block, five white stained glass pane, five oak trap door, four peonies, four lilacs, and four rose bush as well. And that's the material we'll actually be using for this first part of the tutorial. So I guess the first thing we can do is actually work on the patio. So right here, if we go to grass blocks out, we're actually gonna go one block over from right here. So we're gonna go one block over, and then one block right here. And it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, like that. So again, just one block over right there. And to keep it symmetrical, we'll go one, two, three, four over, and we'll place another two by three section of grass blocks right there. From there, we'll get the spruce trap doors that we have, and we'll actually line around the entire surrounding right here with some spruce trap doors, which will be the 20 spruce trap doors that we got overall. So go ahead and go all the way around like so. Whoops, hitting my head on this white con or this uh, gray concrete chimney. Now that we got that, we'll get our peonies, lilacs, and rose bushes, and we'll decorate a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and put two rose bushes in here, and two peonies right here and here, and then two lilacs. You can do the exact same way if you would like or not. I'll put two lilacs across from one another right here, a peony here and here, and then a rose bush here and here. And I believe that should be it for this little section right here. From there, we can go ahead and get rid of this stuff and the trap doors because we've already used that and the grass blocks as well actually. From there, it's just these four materials that we got. So we'll go ahead and get our white stained glass paint and we're gonna put one of them on this third block right here. So we go one, two, three, and we'll place the block, not right there, but one over, whoopsie, right there. And we'll put one spruce leaf below it with one trap door hanging on, on underneath it as well. And this makes it look like we got a little plant hanging from the ceiling. I really like this addition of detail. I added it in a few of my other bills before, but I think it looks really, really nice. From there, we'll go ahead and add another one right here on this corner. So right there, we'll put the spruce leaves and the trap door. We'll go ahead and we'll do one on this corner of the house right here. So place that right there, right there, and the trap door right there as well. And then we go on this corner of the house, the taller corner, we'll put a glass pane there, the leaves right here, trap door. And then lastly, we'll do it on this corner right here as well. So one glass pane, the spruce leaf, and the spruce trap door. And I will get rid of this line in the next part, just so you guys know. I forgot to do that, but I will go ahead and get rid of that since we don't really need the grid as much anymore. From there, it's really just a bunch of spruce leaves spurted around. You don't have to do exactly the way I'm doing it, but as you can see, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put some bushes every once in a while, creeping around the house, going around. Uh, one tip is in corners, I usually go a little bit higher because in real life, the moss always looks a little bit taller in the corners of a house. But from here, it's really just finagle, uh, finagling it and looking around and, and trying to see what looks right and trying to add a bunch of spruce leaves. I do add some spruce leaves over here on the patio as well. And you just spurt it around and make it look good. But yeah, I won't give an exact way to do the spruce leaves. I'll just show you what mine looked like afterwards. But go ahead and surround the whole house with some bushes and stuff like that. And that should be the patio and those type, uh, types of decorations done. But I will go ahead, you know, I'll just get this real quickly. We'll get the campfire and we'll actually go ahead, break one block in the chimney, which I've already done right there and put a campfire there too. I didn't include that in the materials, but I just, I make up my own rules, I guess. So now that we got that, we'll go ahead and find the next part of this house to decorate. All right, now that we got the exterior decorations done, which again, I just surrounded the house with some bushes and whatnot, we'll go ahead and start doing the interior of the main part, which is the courtyard house interior. So let's go ahead and 
We got a lot of materials, a lot of different materials, and some I didn't even uh, remember to include in this list. So we're just gonna go ahead and start taking it one step at a time. Let's go ahead and get our carpet laid down first. So the carpet is just gonna go like this. We will not do these three blocks around each of the corners, but we'll just sporadically place some wool block and some wool carpet, just making the carpet look a little bumpy, a little bit messy, which always makes it look nice. So we'll go ahead and we'll go around. And it doesn't really matter how this looks exactly. You don't have to do this block by block like me, but um, you do want some wool so that you can get this all finished around the whole house. So we'll go ahead and place some blocks right there and a couple carpets right there and there. And you can see, that's where these black carpets go. Then we'll build the carpet that actually goes out of the entrance. So I'll place some black carpets down real quickly. And I think I want it to go about, I, I want these two spruce planks to be a little plain. So we'll go ahead and replace the rest with some wools. And we get this nice bumpy carpet look, which is perfect because real carpet doesn't look very, very that, all that flat. So now that we got that, we can go ahead and get rid of the carpets. We'll get some podzil out, which we need 45 of. And basically we're just gonna replace all this grass right here with some podzil because this is gonna be filled with water and a tree and everything like that. So go ahead and replace all these blocks real quickly with some podzil. And I am struggling a little bit to replace them, but we're almost there. There we go, sweet. Now we got the puzzle done. Let's go ahead and see what's next on our list, which is the white stained glass pane. So from, for the white stained glass pane, which, oopsie, put it right there. We're just gonna do a little bit of a surrounding interior right here with some white stained glass pane walls. So go ahead and start wrapping around with the 31 uh, panes that you got. Go ahead, wrap around right around here. And we're actually gonna have a little bit of an opening right on this block right here. So this should be 31 white stained glass panes. And then right here, we'll actually be able to walk into the tree area and go into there as well when we start building that. From there, looks like we got some grass blocks. So we're gonna go ahead and build a little bit of an island where the actual tree will sit on. So if we go one block over, we go ahead and put one, two, three right here and make a three by three little island right here. And then we'll have one extra block right there, just like that. And that's the island that the tree will sit on in the middle. So now that we got that out of the way, we got some sea pickles, or actually, I guess we should go ahead and get some water first. So let's go ahead and get our water, which I didn't include in here, but now we need some water. And we're gonna go ahead and fill in this entire area with water buckets. So go ahead, and this might sound a little noisy in the video too, but we will eventually get there. Right about there, sweet. That's all the water done right there. And now we can go ahead and actually get the sea pickles and put down 10 of them. I think 10 is a good number. I like to do groups of four and three, so I'll put one, two, three, four right there. It gives us a little bit of lighting too. One, two, three, four. And maybe right here, I'll do one, two, three. So that should equal 10, four, four, eight. Uh, maybe I did 11, but that, that's all right. You guys don't judge me on my math. Now that we got that, we'll get our smooth quartz slabs and we're actually gonna break some of these white concrete blocks and make this ceiling feel a little bit, uh, I guess, taller and a little bit wider. So we're gonna delete these right here, delete these right here. And with some smooth quartz slabs, we'll go ahead and put these in its place. And this should make the whole thing feel a little bit taller, which it most certainly does. I like that a lot. Okay, now the next materials we got, is some kelp. I'm gonna take some seagrass and I'll ignore the quartz stairs for the time being and instead put this lily pad right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put just about six seagrass just around there. So that's one, two, three, four, and maybe five, six right there. Some kelp as well. We'll go one, two, three, four, and maybe five, six, seven. You just want it to look nice. It doesn't have to be exact. And then the three lily pads as well. So we'll put one right there, maybe one right there, and maybe one last one over there as well. And yeah, I think that's good on the lily pads part. Okay, now that we got that, we'll go ahead and we'll add some of the interior decorations in the water. So we'll get some cobblestone stairs, wall, the mossy cobblestone stuff as well. And the way we do the interior for this, I really like this. My little brother, Pizza Bus 43 actually showed me this, which he got from Ren Diggity Dog. So we'll go ahead and put a wall right here and we'll break this block and I'm actually gonna go ahead and waterlog this block as well. And this looks like a really cool stepping stone that we got. So we'll put one, maybe two right there and maybe three right here as well like there and it looks like some stepping stones in this little bit of water area which i really really like i think that looks cool so then we'll get some stone cobblestone and maybe put this right here maybe get a bigger rock in the water right there so that's one two that is three right there in that corner then we'll get our mossy cobblestone stairs out as well and i'll go ahead and maybe put two uh, mossy cobblestones right there to form a little bit of a mossy rock and then i'll put one mossy cobblestone right there wall and right there too and i think that looks good enough. It looks like we got some stones around the area, which is looking really nice. And I did forget, I actually just put four quartz stairs. Go ahead and make that five quartz stairs. I'll go ahead, and grab one more real quick. Because we do want one on this water block right here, making it look like it kind of leads into the pond right there. Yeah, that looks a lot nicer. I like that a lot more now. Now for the other four quartz stairs, we'll go ahead and we'll put one little sofa right here, one chair. And then we'll put one chair right here on this wall as well to give a bit more decoration so we can get rid of that. 
Next material, gonna be some item frames. Uh, this is just a uh, modern house decoration I've seen in a few builds before. Just three item frames going across. Looks very modern and eccentric, so I like that style right there. Then we'll go ahead and get some bone meal, and we might as well just get a couple of bone meal to make this land look a little pretty. Let me go ahead and delete actually most of that and replace. And right about there, I'm kind of liking that. Maybe break that grass block right there too. Okay. And now we'll build the tree in the middle, which is going to be two fence and it's going to be some oak leaves. I don't know exactly how many oak leaves I use, so we'll just go ahead and do this real quick. So we got one, two oak leaves, and then we'll actually make the tree, which is four little blocks surrounding this bottom layer right here. And then from there, we just kind of go up at random intervals. I'll make this one three, maybe three tall, make that a couple tall, that one a couple tall, and right there, maybe we'll make this one more taller so we can make that one more taller, and like that right there. Okay. That should be the interior tree done right there. And I don't really like it. Uh, I might do a little bit more fiddling off camera, but until I find something right, look, that looks right. But for the time being, it'll work. I'll go ahead and keep that. Now that we got that done, we'll get some spruce leaves and spruce trap doors. I'm gonna put two spruce trap doors right here with two spruce leaves on top as well. And then we'll go ahead and get some lanterns, birch doors, scaffolding, some paintings as well. We'll put two of the birch doors, one right here and one right here as well. And then for the scaffolding, I'll go ahead and actually break this chest now. I'll put a table right here. Maybe I'll put another table over here. And then for some paintings, just a couple paintings, I'll put one painting right there. And I'll go ahead and get another painting that I'll place right there as well. Doesn't really matter what type of paintings, unless you want to try to get them specific. For the lanterns, oh look, we got a nice little bee coming and visiting our garden. For some lanterns, I'll put a lantern here and maybe one lantern right over here as well. And he's coming in the house too, I guess, hey buddy. Now we'll go ahead and also get some pots and some plants as well. I don't know exactly what plants I use. For the most part, I think I use Lily of Valley and Oxy Daisies as well, and kind of just white flowers in general. And then I also had some special plants too that I use for this house, where I use a mixture of ferns and leaves and pots and dead bushes. Forgot that too. So for that, I'll put maybe one little big plant right here over here and I'll get some pots and just place some plants around as well. It doesn't really matter exactly where they go as long as they look decent but you do want a few here and there just because this is a very flowery nice looking house. Maybe I'll put that right there instead and yeah I think that should be about it for the first one. If you want some lighting in this house too as well I would highly recommend getting some glowstone and putting this like underneath these carpets and stuff to light it all up. But that should be that decoration part pretty much done. Oh yeah, and there's banners. I totally forgot the banners. Let's go ahead and get six white banners. And this is a really nice addition I like right here. If we add two white banners there, maybe one right here. So that's three, that puts us at four, five, and maybe one last one right on over here. That will look really, really nice with the nice banners hanging down and everything. This makes this garden feel a lot more alive. And that is this first part of the detailing done. I guess we can go ahead and move on to the next part. So I did say that we would move on to the next part and I, I don't know, I feel kind of bad for lying about this, but I realized this is why I've never done this. This was a little bit of an experiment just to see how long it would take to actually show every single step of my interior building. And it takes a while just for that part. It was about eight minutes long. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to transport over to my world where I got all the decorations, everything done. And I'll just point out every single detail and give you guys a look around just to see what I did. But, um, yeah, in the future, I probably will be doing this just glossing over and just showing what I did and how I made my details and everything like that. I'm sorry about that, guys, but it just takes a really, really long time showing every single step of the detail. And there, there were even some other details that I missed, like putting some fish in the water and stuff like that. So with that said, I'm going to transport over to my other world, show you all the details that I added, how it looks and everything. And then that should be the end of this part two with all the decorations and everything. So let's go ahead and transport to our other world. So we have went ahead and teleported to the actual OG building. Build. And that was just a little bit of a little bit of a learning experience guys I see now that it takes a little too much time to point out every single detail and show you guys how to build every single step of the way So instead this is what I'll do in my future videos as well Let's go ahead and walk in and as you can see it's very very reminiscent of what I just built with scaffolding and everything like that I might have messed up a few details like these item frames and I forgot to say that there are fish in the pond Which I love that little bit of livelihood the detail makes it feel so much more alive and nicer and see there's different flowers Different placements of blocks and stuff like that, but I'll show you guys exactly what I did and in each of the rooms and then we should be set. So for the first one, we'll go over to the kitchen, which the kitchen, very first thing I did was this roof. If you see, we actually went ahead and lowered it down one uh, slabs right here. We lowered these slabs and started sp uh, spacing them intermittently behind the house. So it goes like right here, we have one row of slabs and it goes one, two, three, another row of slabs and we go one, two, another row of slabs, one, two, another row of slabs like that. 
Over here in the kitchen, we got the cauldron with a nice little banner hanging, acting kind of like a towel. Got a crafting table, the fridge with two iron blocks in the, in the fridge right there, the iron door. Then we got some furnaces, blast furnaces, and I used a lot of looms to look like cabinets and stuff and, and laced it over the black carpet because that does fit with the house. I have some sushi in the corner. I'm not really a big fan of sushi, but modern houses made me think of sushi, so I went ahead and I actually put that there. In this top, what I actually did, since I have these covered with spruce slabs, I actually have beehives and bookshelves, but the bookshelves look a lot like spices on a cabinet table, and I put some trap doors underneath as well. And it really, really looks nice. I, I, I like that. It looks like you got your salt and maybe your garlic powder or whatever spices you might be using up there in your cabinet. So that's, that's looking pretty nice. Then we use this polished die right. We put three and put a cake on top in the middle just to make it look like we got some counter with a, with a quartz stair right there acting as a chair. We got some trap doors right here and here. I don't know exactly why, but it adds some detail. It makes it look nice. Then we got a barrel on top of a scaffolding block with a tripwire hook right in front, kind of looking like a little bit of a keg. And it looks like right over here we got a brewery with a bunch of barrels. This acts perfectly for a bunch of storage if you guys are building this in survival, which if you are, that's impressive because that's a lot of white concrete you're using and everything. But we also got some item frames in this corner, kind of looking so like some more modern art and just some barrels placed. Uh, every once in a while I flip them around or turn them around depending on where they are. And I have a brewing stand with some bottles and everything like that too. And that looks really nice. That captures a lot of detail. I also added the black carpet going all the way to the back right there and there's some black carpet over here. And I did hide some sea lanterns or just some glowstone underneath so that we have some lighting in the house as well. From there, I did it. I had this one last detail, which was a sea lantern with trap doors on all sides. I thought that looked like a kind of cool little lamp, so I decided to keep it, and I added that. Let's go ahead and hop on to the next room. Moving on to this little bit of a bar area that we got right over here. You can see when we walk in, first thing, we got a little bit of a top hat kind of carpet. Kind of looks like we could be wearing that top hat right now if we wanted. In this corner, I put an armor stand with my actual outfit that my Minecraft character is wearing, which is cargo shorts, a black t-shirt, and a black shoes. This is actually Fun fact for you, in real life, this is one of my absolute favorite outfits. I always wear this black t-shirt, uh, black sh shoes, and some cargo shorts, just because that's me. That's that's what I like to wear. But yeah, so that's why my Minecraft character looks like that. But we got my outfit right there. You guys can do whatever outfit your Minecraft character has. Over here, we got some barrels on top of some bookshelves. This adds a bit more storage, while also looking really aesthetic and nice. We got some looms and some more bookshelves, with a little bit of a bar table going right here. And if you had a nice view out this window, some like mountains or something, that would look really, really cool. So go ahead and add that. And then we'll get like some pots and some item frames looking like some plates on top of this table with some quartz stairs in front. We got some trap doors on the ceiling. I do keep this throughout the whole uh, build just because it looks like some lights, that, some modern lights or something like that. I put two banners here, not sure why, but it fills the space and we got a little bit of a plant right there in the corner. If we go ahead and go into this right over here though, there's gonna be a living room, which the living room, I did use snow to make a nice little table that looks a little bit bigger than slabs, but not too big. That's why I love these snow blocks because you can make them whatever height you want. They're really, really useful. So I use that. I put some more black carpets, which again, I did hide some sea lanterns underneath for more lighting. Put some scaffolding table right there, some looms as a little bit of a table and a painting. I did the lights again with the iron trap doors and some lamps right here with some end rods and some quartz pillar, more lighting right there too. And then for the couches, the way I did that is I just used quartz stairs with black banners. I placed the black banners first, which, whoops, did not mean to put that there. So I would put the black banner right here, then I put the quartz stair on top, and it creates these really cool looking pillows, which I really, really like. That is one detail. I don't know where I saw that. I probably saw it on Instagram or something, but it looks really nice. And I got some end rod, a nice little fancy lamp stand right there. And then if we go ahead and go over from this, that's pretty much the living room. We can go over here, and this is a staircase, which for the staircase, I use strip dark log going all the way to the top. I placed it in the middle right here. And from there, I put some paintings on the walls, some smooth quartz slabs. And if you want to start exactly how I did this, I just use slabs and start it on this block right here. And then I go all the way around, wrapping around until we get up here to the doors. From there, I filled in some white concrete and put more paintings and stuff and just filled in this little area so that we could go ahead and lead on to the next room, which we'll go ahead and go into right now. So the last step is the bedroom. If we walk inside, you can immediately see we got some doors right here, but it looks pretty darn nice. I'm really, really happy with this. What I first did is I got the strip dark oak log and I noticed in a lot of real modern houses, they always have these wood walls in here. So I thought, you know what? I'll incorporate my own. In front of it, we got some two nice purple beds, which are my favorite beds. In real life, unfortunately, my bed is colored red, but um, or at least my, my sheets are covered red, not the actual mattress. But um, one day, one day I will switch over to purple sheets because I love these beds. I don't know why, still don't know why. I'm a weirdo, but I like them. From there, we got some bookshelves on the side with some black carpet sitting on top. Nice little painting of uh, me accidentally burning my hand over the stove. That was a, that was a funny Minecraft memory. I, I don't know what these paintings are of, but I, I just decided to put that one there. Got a scaffolding table here with some bookshelves and some trapdoors underneath to make it look like we do a little bit of reading, which in real life, 
I'm giving a lot of real life examples, but in real life, I do a lot of reading. I am, um, I'm working on a 31 book series right now called I Am Number Four. Check it out if you guys get the chance. But from there, we got some beehives placed around here looking like some dressers with a nice little plant on top and some paintings right here. And we got some lights hanging. These lights are a little special because I actually use end rods along with trap doors. And that's because if I were to break these blocks right here, I can't put the sea lanterns down there. So I thought it would be a good idea instead to light up the room with some end rods. But from there, you see I got a little plant right here, some more leaves on shelves and stuff like that. A little bit more of that modern artwork that we all don't really love, but we all pretend to love. And from there, I added some plants and, and that's basically just about it. This might turn out to be a little bit of a shorter video, but that's basically all the interior decorations. If you guys need any more explanation, comment down below and I'll try to explain my best through the comments. But that is basically the entire house done. You guys got to little, uh, learn a little bit about me, about my outfit and what type of books I read and stuff. But with that said, that is just about it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe because it really does help me out. Um, I think the interior decorations actually turned pretty good for this one. I'm, I'm practicing, trying to get better on my interior decorating and everything, and I think it turned out all right. Comment down below what you guys thought of the house. But with that said, I really don't have that much else to say. Hopefully, I'll be back from vacation in a couple days, if not sooner, and I'll be releasing some other new videos that I have no idea what I'm going to be doing yet, But because uh, it's very, very early in the future that I'm recording these videos. But with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. And with that said, yeah, that, that's it. Ciao.